Hi, I'm Lee Tushler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Alex Liddell from EPC. And Alex is going to tell us a little bit about the new EGAN FET. Alex, uh, you got Gen 5 here. What, what's that about? You know, it's amazing. We've been in production now seven years and time goes by so fast. And now we're in our fifth generation. But this generation is really a breakthrough. We've cut our die size in half, but we've also doubled the performance at the same time. So these devices run cooler, are smaller, and are less expensive than any prior generation. And it was a material science breakthrough that allowed that to happen. And it gives us a clear path to the uh, ability to harvest all of the efficiencies of gallium nitride. And you know, I'll admit that at Gen 5, we're still 250 times away from theoretical performance. So we'll get there. It'll just take us a few more years. What we have here is a comparison with the best MOSFETs and our, our fifth generation GAN devices running at an input of uh, 48 volts. You can see that here, output of 1.8 volts. Our, our EGAN FETs are running about uh, 12 degrees cooler than the much, much bigger, four times larger MOSFETs and are running uh, with 30% less power loss. You couple those together and that's a 3X improvement in power density. Oh. So if you really want to shriek your circuits, if you really want to improve your efficiency, Go to EGAN FETs and go to Gen 5. That's interesting. Now, how does the fifth generation EGAN FET compare with previous generations? Well, it's half the size for the same on resistance and the same voltage, mm -hmm. and it also has half the, half the capacitance. So that means it switches twice as fast. And if you look at the waveform here, we're comparing a MOSFET versus a, our, our fifth generation EGAN FET, and you'll notice here the fall time of the EGAN FET is 850 picoseconds. So we're in the picosecond regime here with power devices switching tens of amps. That's interesting. Is it easier to design with the fifth generation device than previous generations or are it just different? Well you're dealing with a smaller chip but we have opened up the the spacing between our ball grid array so it's a little bit more forgiving to manufacturing processes. Ah, it's a little bit less parasitic elements there. Yes. Awesome. That's, that's pretty interesting work, Alex. Thank you. Thank you.